it's Judy and welcome to another video. So today I have a book haul for you. So I do book hauls all the time in my vlogs and everything but I've accumulated quite a stack and I just thought I'd do a haul and get it all out the way. A couple of these I might have mentioned in a vlog previously but yeah we're just gonna do a haul and there is also some other books that either haven't arrived yet or i'm just not going to include in this haul for various reasons but i'm just going to show a few anyway pretty excited about some of these and some of these are just really fun books that i've found in like charity shops and stuff and we've got graphic novels we've got manga we've got some really cool signed editions and we've just got some like cool books basically if you'd like to see some of the books that i've picked up recently then please keep watching so i'm gonna start with two books that i'm very very excited for and i don't actually know anything about them <laughs> so these are two books that i've seen hyped around everywhere recently especially book twitter and booktube because everyone just is obsessed with these so i didn't actually know until recently they're actually vampire books which i was really really surprised at but i do really want to read these simply because people have said if you love sarah j mass you will love these books and that's literally all i know about them i'm not going to go into what they're about and i don't really want to know the full synopsis i really just want to dive into these and read them and see if i enjoy them certain books i like to do that i don't want to know a lot about them i feel like this is one of those ones for me I want to be surprised and really enjoy it and not have a clue what's coming. My name's Jennifer L. Armentrout and I get, bet you can already guess what they are but that is from Blood and Ash and I forgot what the sequel's called Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Um, so yeah I have both of these and I am very very excited for them. I will have them both linked down below but I think these are both adult fantasy and you can read the synopsis for them there because I honestly have no idea what they're about but I'm really excited for them anyway because Sarah J Mass Vibes of Vampires. Here for it. Yeah, these are really heavy and really chunky paperbacks. I don't know when I'm going to get to these. I'm hoping to read them soon because, yeah, everyone's like saying how amazing they are. And I know the third one comes out like soonish, maybe. I don't know if it's this year or next year, but I've seen it. Like, you can pre order it. But yeah, I'm very, very excited about these and I felt like I needed to have them because everyone just loves them. <laughs> so, next up is a book that will be on my Vampathon TBR, which is why I bought it. For those of you who don't know, Vampathon is a readathon that myself and some other booktubers are hosting at the last week of October and we will be doing a week-long readathon that centers all around vampires and just supernatural stuff there's loads of cool prompts and I'm super excited so I picked this book up in preparation for it and it's a book that I was planning to read anyway and it's one that a lot of people will have read back in the day that I just haven't that is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead I always forget the author so Kay will be so happy that I'm finally reading this because this is like her favourite book ever. This is the first book in a series and I feel like you all kind of know what this is about. There's a movie too which is my guilty pleasure but I've just never read the book. It follows like a vampire and a best friend who protects her. Lisa Drag Dragomir? Lisa Dragomir, I think is how you pronounce her name, is a mortal vampire. She must be protected at all times from the fiercest and most dangerous vampires of all, the ones who will never die. Rose Hathaway is Lisa's best friend and her bodyguard. Now after two years of illicit freedom, they've been dragged back inside the Iron Gates of St. Vladimir's Academy. The girls must survive a world of forbidden romances, a ruthless social scene and terrifying nighttime rituals. So yeah, this is just that kind of OG vampire goodness that I just have never read. And I'm really, really excited to get to this in Vampathon because I really want to read this series. I know um, Mayana recently read this and she did like a vlog about it and she's like hooked on this series. So I will link um, her vlog down below. But I'm really, really excited. Can't wait to read this because everyone loves this series. And because Kay keeps hyping it up all the time and Mayana. So I'm really, really excited. But yeah, I will be reading this at the end of the month and I'm very, very excited. So next up we have three beautiful like chef's kiss beautiful books like i really want to buy the owl crate edition as well but i don't know shipping is hella expensive so i don't think i will but i do kind of want it now but i already have three copies of this book and i've not even read it yet um so yeah we love that no excuse i just think they're really pretty and i really really wanted them so that book is the highly anticipated the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by B. Schwab. So yes, I have three copies of this beautiful book. I will show you them because I think a lot of people will want to see them. I have the Waterstones exclusive signed edition. So I know the lighting's terrible. I have started to read this, that's why it's tabbed. But inside it looks like this. And this is the cover for this edition. It looks like this. 
because they all have a different um, book covers underneath. Got them totally modelled up. This is just the standard hardcover from Waterstones, so not the signed one. It has the cool copper effect on it with the blue sprayed edges and that tree on the front. So that is that one. Next up is the exclusive signed edition from Waterstones. So this one has the gold detailing on it. It also has gold sprayed edges. So this one has different papers inside. It looks like this, which is so pretty. I love it. And then we have a different tree on the front that has Adiana and it's gold instead of like the coppery colour. And of course it is signed, so once I manage to get this back on I'll show you. <laughs> and this is signed as well, which is super cool. And lastly, we have the Forbidden Planet signed exclusive version. So this one has the blue detailing on it here and a blue sprayed edge. And this has the same papers as the standard hardcover inside, which is like this but it has a different cover. So this just has a blue addy on the front, which is super pretty and I love it. So I'm really happy that I have those three because they're all stunning, like I just love them. Did I need three copies of the same book? No, but it's me we're talking about, so we all knew it was gonna happen. Um, but these are just absolutely gorgeous and I'm reading just the standard hardcover edition and then obviously the signed ones are just like collector's pieces for me. I've never actually read any V Schwab before, um, but as soon as I read the synopsis for this, I was hyped. Like, this is my kind of story, and I'm very, very excited. I've read 16 pages so far, and I'm loving her writing already, so that's good. <laughs> because I own three copies, so it would be kind of awkward um, if I didn't like her writing style. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy so far, and I just love these editions. They're just beautiful. Next up is another book that I bought simply for the aesthetic and for my, like, collector's bookish thing um, because I also collect books as well as read them and it is no secret that I absolutely love Crescent City. It is one of my favourite books of this year. I'm obsessed with it. I love it and I already own five copies of it as you can see behind me and this will now be my sixth copy and I am obsessed with it. I saw this floating around and I was like I just need it. It's beautiful. The copy I got is German. So obviously I can't read or speak German and I have no intention of physically reading this but I bought it because it is stunning. So the spine is totally different to the other Crescent City books. Focus, so it looks like this but this is why I bought it. Is that not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen? obsessed that is the main reason pretty much the only reason i bought it is because i just love this none of the other crescent city books have this and i just think it's absolutely stunning i have it on my shelf this way out because it looks amazing and i love it i'm gonna put it back on my shelf but yeah i just keep it on my shelf like that and i love it and yeah i'm obsessed um i got it on amazon because i think that's like the only place you can really get it because obviously it's from another country but i'll have it linked down below next is a book that i was really highly anticipating i did briefly start i read like three pages but i've decided not to read it at the moment because i want to read adi larue and some other stuff but it's one i'm very excited for it's like a kind of dark academia paranormally monstery book and I think based off that you probably already know what it is. But the book I'm talking about is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. And I am very, very, very excited for this book. It's absolutely stunning. I really want to pick up the US edition because I just think it's beautiful. But I love this. Um, this is the UK edition and it's just stunning. Inside we have this amazing map of the school which just look how intricate that is amazing very very excited about this because this is like a dark academia this follows a girl called Elle Higgins and she has these like super crazy powers where she could pretty much like kill everyone in the school if she wanted to and in this school once you enter it you never get out of it and you kind of have to like fight to survive because it's super dangerous and there's monsters everywhere and yeah <laughs> and that's pretty much all i know about it it's pretty much dark academia for normally monstery goodness and yeah i'm very very excited for this because it just sounds amazing and like something i really love so yeah so the next book that i picked up is actually a sequel but i haven't read the first book yet but i do own it i got it in a fairy loot a while ago and then i saw this in forbidden planet and i was like that's in the sale it's a good deal it's signed and i have the first book i may as well get it so that is girls of storm and shadow by natasha nagan i think is how you pronounce the name i'm awfully sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong this is a signed copy and it was only 8.49 so i was like i may as well get it as liv always says i have the worst excuse in the world it was there so i bought it <laughs> but you know it's one of those i'm 
I'm terrible. But yes, it is signed. We love a signed hardcover. And yeah, it's just, it's a sequel. I'm not going to go into the synopsis because it's a sequel. I will link the first book down below as well. The first book was Girls of Paper and Fire. Like I said, it was 8 49 It was in the shop. It was signed. I just had to buy it. And I'm glad that I did because obviously I do plan to read the first one and I was planning to pick this up anyway. Next up is a really random purchase. Um, I feel like I've seen this somewhere but I just can't remember where and I haven't heard too many people talk about it. I have no idea if this is new or old. I probably should have looked. But this was in the sale. It's signed. It's a hardcover. Yeah. I taught myself so easily into buying books. If it's signed and it's a hardback and it looks cool and it sounds cool, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> this was only $7.99 for a signed hardcover that's brand new. That is just amazing. It's The Furies by Katie Lowe. And this involves witchcraft and murder. It follows a few girls and one girl I think is killed and they all know about it but none of them ever says anything. Set in 1998 and a 16-year-old girl is found dead on school property. Dressed in white and posed on a swing no one knows how or why she died except for four girls and they've kept their silence until one day one of them talks i think um and that's pretty much all i know about it it's just got witchcraft and murder in it and as soon as i heard that i was like i need it um i love anything that has witchcraft and witches in it and stuff it is signed so that's a bonus and for 7.99 you can't really go wrong so i'm very excited for that I really wish I got this earlier so I could have added it to my TBR for this month because this sounds like perfect. Witchcraft and Murder is like the ultimate spooky read. I might pick it up at some point, it just depends. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this one. <laughs> so we have these three here. So these were really random, random buys. And most people probably won't be interested in them. But if you've watched some of my vlogs before, you'll know I love anything to do with like witchcraft, magic, alchemy all that stuff i just find it fascinating I hopped into a charity shop and these were there and i was like i may as well get them first one i picked up is this alchemy and mysticism book and this is by alexander rube and this is by the hermetic museum basically is absolutely filled with lots of um historic alchemy things and what i like look at some of these photos and illustrations and yeah i just love stuff like this like obsessed especially considering i'm currently reading the discovery of witches which is full of alchemy so yeah i saw this and i was like oh my god i have to have it and i'm glad that i did then is another witchcraft related book so this is magic and witchcraft by leonard r n ashley and i just thought oh i just always hit myself in the face <laughs> I just thought this looked really, really cool. I um, have no idea what it's about, except it's about witchcraft and it's just got lots of like historic witch things in it. So yeah, love that. <laughs> and then lastly is a Folio Society set. So this was only 4 99 You can get these on eBay from people selling them. Some people sell them for a decent price. Some people sell them for like 50 quid. But I had to have these i love my mythology and it was folio society so this is the greek myth set and you just get two volumes that look like this they're super beautiful 4.99 how could i not now it's time to move on to graphic novels and manga so let's start with manga i picked up this today which i'm obsessed with this cover so this was in the sale again in forbidden planet it was nine pound fifty which is a bargain and this is by junjo ito i think is how you pronounce it I saw this and this just sounded really really cool this is called venus in the blind spot yeah venus in the, in the blind spot and i think this is a bunch of different stories from what i could gather this is a, a collection of remarkable short works Feature an adaption of Edo Gawa Ranpo's classic horror story, The Human Chair, Enigma of a Megara Fault, um, and some other stuff as well. And this is just stunning. I love the artwork. So the actual cover is so cool. And then underneath the dust jacket, it has this, which is just, yeah, love it. So that will be my first um, Junja Ito manga that i will read and i'm very very excited i might pick this up this month we shall see because i'm already deviating from my tbr enough but yeah i just picked this up because it just really really looked amazing the artwork and this is stunning and it's a bunch of like short um stories and i felt like this would be the perfect introduction to junji ito's work i don't know if i just said his name wrong just before i'm sorry if i did but yeah my brain's getting muddled up because it's very late and i'm very tired but yeah i think this will be a really good introduction to this manga style and i'm very very excited this this is horror manga which is very fitting for this time of year i love this and i'm obsessed with the cover and yeah i just feel like this was a really really good bargain so i'm glad that i got it next up is one that i've talked about previously but this is orange and um this is by 
Ichiko Takano. I'm really sorry again if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'll have this link below because I have already talked about it before. I think this has something to do with the future. This follows a young girl who gets a letter from her future self and it tells her that there's a new person moving into her class and she needs to look over this person and that's pretty much all I know about it. So I'm really, really excited to give this a go. I was planning on reading this quite soon, but I don't think I'll be getting to it anytime soon. It's quite a big manga, and I have so much reading to do this month. Um, but I thought I'd include it in the haul because it is one I've bought recently. I will have it linked below, but I feel like a lot of people already know about this because it's one of the most popular mangas. When I was searching for recommendations, this is the like one of the top ones that came up. Next is another one that I've already talked about in my October TBR, but that is Vampire Night. So I will have this linked down below along with that video if you want to read the full synopsis. But this follows like there's two different groups of people and there's vampires and there's non-vampires, like day and night classes. And there's two like guardians and one of them like thinks vampires like can live alongside humans man, the other one doesn't and that's kind of all I know. <laughs> um, but this is just vampires, I'm going to be reading this for Vampathon I think so yeah vampire manga yay <laughs> but yeah this will be linked down below if you do actually want to hear properly what it's about but this one I really like the art style inside like it looks very very cool and I'm just very excited for it. And then next is a manga that I spotted randomly. I've not seen or heard anything about this before. I love the sound of the synopsis. The artwork and style is beautiful. And this is actually a manga that is suitable for all ages apparently. Which is another aspect of it I really really liked. I'm not sure if this is a big series and I've just not heard of it before. But this is The Girl From The Other Side. And it just has the cover like this. It is beautiful. So this is what it looks like. It is stunning. I just love the artwork as well. Well, it's really cool. There's two kingdoms and on the outside is the twisted beast that could curse with a touch apparently. And then on the inside is where all the humans live and this follows like a little girl and how one of these like um, beasts from the outside meet each other and they become unlikely friends and it follows both of them as they become friends and all the challenges they face together because of their friendship and I just thought it sounded really cool and it looks really spooky and really interesting and very different. So I'm very, very excited for this one. Really glad that I picked this up because I've not really heard anyone talk about it before and I just think it's going to be a really, really nice read. I think there's some other volumes in the series as well. So I'm hoping that if I like this, I will also pick those up. This was just a really random one that I stumbled upon in the bookshop and I'm very glad that I picked it up. And now we are on to graphic novels. So I actually picked up two single issues um, from the comic book shop and they are Sleeping Beauties. So this is adapted from the book Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King, I think is what I'm assuming. Anyway, I've not actually heard anything about these, but I've just got issues one and two based on the horror novel by Stephen King. So I've not actually read um, Sleeping Beauties before and I don't really know much about it, but I just thought they sounded and looked very cool. So I bought them. We'll have Sleeping Beauties linked down below so you can read the synopsis. But yeah, I just thought these would be quite fun. They're only single issues, so they're not very long. And I just really liked how the art looked and the cover for this one. So I got those. Then next I picked up one of the most popular graphic novels that I have no idea why I still haven't read. This is a sci-fi graphic novel. And I feel like everyone's read this and everyone loves this series. But this is by Brian K. Vaughan, I think is how you say the name, and Fiona Staples. But this is Saga Volume 1. Don't know why it's taken me so long to get around to this. Characters that this follows are each from a different race, I believe. And it's like kind of like forbidden love. And there's a big, massive, like cataclysmic um universal like war happening kind of thing and i think they're on opposing sides but obviously they're together and they have a baby and that's kind of all i know i don't know an awful lot about it but i picked it up because i really do love my graphic novels and because obviously i know how popular these are i thought it was about time that i did give it a go this next one i actually found from watching like an old vlog of books with chloe um this was in her reading vlog thing and i just like oh my god that looks really really good it sounds amazing and i added it to my goodreads and then when i was out they actually had it in the bookshop and i was having a look at it and i was thinking yeah Jodie, you need to buy it. <laughs> you know how this story goes, every time, if it's there, I buy it. <laughs> and this is why all my money goes on books. So the graphic novel I'm talking about is Fence Volume 1. It gave me kind of, it's going to sound really weird, but like Heartstopper vibes. This follows Nicholas who is the illegitimate son of a fencing champion. And I don't think he's too good at it. He dreams of getting a chance um, and the training to actually compete like his, his father. 
and then he gets accepted into this private school and he's thrust into a, like a really really harsh like world and then he has to face like his golden boy half brother um and like kind of best him but then he also has to face this mysterious guy through like loads of like rivalries and stuff there's like a romance happening between them books of chloe talked about this and said that it was amazing and she really liked it and it sounds like something i will love i will have books with chloe's vlog linked down below i am on to the last graphic novel of this haul so this one is one that i'm considering reading for vamp thumb one that randomly came up on goodreads the other day this is another vampy one and this is a marvel one and this is a marvel graphic novel and this is anita blake vampire hunter a guilty pleasure volume one and this is by Laura K Laurel K Hamilton and Hamilton Richie Boo I think and I don't really know an awful lot about it except it's about vampire hunter and there's werewolves in it in this a series of vampires turn up murdered and Anita Blake has been recruited to find the killer and the person responsible and it's not just the police who want her help with this it's also vampires themselves and obviously she's a vampire hunter so this is a bit of a weird one I believe this is based off a um, novel so I've not actually read the novel but I just randomly stumbled upon this and I just thought that sounds so cool and then I saw some of the artwork and I was like oh my gosh I need this like look at this artwork amazing i'm so excited it's giving me underworld vibes and yeah i love underworld love it hate beck and sell on that movie amazing um but anyway i am very very excited for this graphic novel i think it might be a vampathon pick but i'm not sure yet but it was kind of random and i'm just yeah i'm looking forward to it that is all the books in this haul i did also buy a lot of dan brown books i got the hard covers um on depop so i got like origins and da vinci code and angels and demons and all that i'm not going to include those because i just can't be bothered <laughs> yeah i did also buy those and i've bought a couple more books of vampathon and i have a few pre-orders i'm waiting for and stuff like that so this haul could have been a lot bigger but i feel like it's fairly small and okay for me so yeah a very very random haul filled with all different kinds of books and probably really horrendous synopsises synopses synopsis synopses you know what i mean filled with really bad descriptions from me yeah we'll have all of these linked in the description box so that you can fully find out what they're about and if you want to go and purchase them but yeah i'm very very excited for all these books and i can't wait to read them especially adi larue um, a deadly education and fence volume one and loads of other books i'm just very excited and i love buying books and i'm never going to stop buying books <laughs> i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to and i will see you guys soon Bye.